Hey guys, today I want to go through five easy ways you can write a Python loop with you. So we're going to go through these five ways. You'll have five ways you can write a Python loop and they'll each be geared towards different situations. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to first start by creating a list to loop through. So I'm going to call this my list. And uh, let's give it some value. So we're just going to, I'm just typing in some uh, values that came to mind there. And if you're new to Python, this is your basic list syntax. You give it the variable equals, and then in the square braces, you give it this list. And let's also create a tuple, um, which is just like a list, except you can't change the values in a tuple. And it is defined by parentheses instead of by square braces. So let's give it uh, some different values here. We'll make sure it's the same length and uh, have five elements in it um, like that. All right, so we have those. And um, let's go ahead and hit Shift Enter to run that. And now we want to use, we'll use a for loop to loop through the list and tuple. Um, we'll start with the list. So it's really easy to loop through things with Python. So we can do for um, item in my list, hit the um, colon key there to close that statement. And those were indented here below the for. And then we'll just print item. Now, when I run this, you will see that it's going to print out all the items here in my list. So let's hit Shift Enter. And you can see that it prints those out just as they appear, 5, 30, 90, 23, 12. We can also come up here, and let's say we want to do some kind of calculation and multiply it by 2. And you can see that now our output has multiplied each of those elements by 2. Let's loop through the tuple. So we'll do for item in my tuple print item. And you'll see that for the tuple, it works in the exact same way. All right. Next example, um, we are going to use the range function. And let me just show you what that looks like. So if we do range 10, we're going to get values back from 1 to 9. You can see it's going to give us a range. But let me show you how this works. So we're going to do for i in range 10 or when my list. And let's just print i to start off with. And you can see that we printed out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are five values there starting at 0 going to 4. The length of our list is 5. Now we can index this list. My list with square braces and so this gives us the value of the element i in this list so let's go ahead and hit shift enter and you can see there that we get the values of our list in order now this can be really useful because now we can put in the value of my list and my tuple all in the same statement so let's do list value and then come over here and tuple value. And then we can run that. You can see that we have the list value and the tuple value combined. And then we can print out like a multiplication or something. And so we can do uh, list value i times tuple, sorry, uh, my tuple i, let me go back and make this my list, and we can hit shift enter, and there you get the value um, of those three different things, all with just going through one loop, and sorry that this is super long there. All right. So that's method number two.
The next method is list comprehension. And list comprehension is going to give us a list as a result. So we're going to do this all inside of square braces. So if I do x, let's do item for item in my list. And if I hit uh, shift enter here, you'll see it returns my list. Okay, so I've taken this item and I've done nothing to it for each item in the list. I could do item um, divide two for item in my list. And now you can see that I get a different list back. Okay, so this is a really concise way to write for loops or to iterate through a list in Python if you're performing a computation over it. Um, and you can put anything here. You could turn this into a string. You can concatenate strings. You can do a lot of, of pretty simple operations using list comprehension in Python. All right, next we're going to use a while loop to iterate through the list. This can, can be quite useful in, in some cases. So let's start off by giving an index value. We're going to make that equal to zero. And then I'm going to do while i is less than zero. And so what we're checking here is we're checking to make sure that this condition is true each time through this loop. And while it is zero, I'm going to print my list i. And then I'm going to update i. So this will add one to i every time this line of code runs. And so I'm updating i. If I don't do this, it's going to keep going and going and going and never stop and print out element zero every time. Here I'm going to update it after I print it out, and the next time through I will be one, the next time through two, and so on and so forth. And so you'll see this here. So let's do, um, let's go print index, which will be i, and then value, which will come from my list. Let's go ahead and run this. Maybe. Print. What am I doing here? I see I put i less than zero. This should be i less than the length of my list. Okay, i is not less than zero, so nothing's happening. That's why I'm not getting anything running. But let's go ahead and hit enter. And there you can see that we get the index value of zero and my list value of 5, 3, 90, 23, and 12, and so forth. Now with this, we can also do like we've done before. And we can do um, tuple value as well. So we can come in here and write my tuple. And then we can put in i, and we'll get a tuple value as well. So this is very similar to uh, range, except we're using a conditional statement. We could put another conditional in there if we needed to, to check for true false uh, in some instances. And the final way, the final easy way I'm going to show you is to, in, to use the enumerate function. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to do for i. It's going to be our index and our item for i item in enumerate. And here we're going to go my list. And we're going to print i. We're going to print index. And then i and then item, and then item. And so let's go ahead and run this. You notice here that as we do this, we keep track of both the index and the item value um, with this one line of code. We can also put in a start index here. So if I start this at two, um, it just changes that index to a different number, but it still pulls the first item. Uh, and the second item, the third item, and so on and so forth. But generally, you're going to use it in this fashion. And this can be useful if you have two things of the same length. And so even though I'm iterating, iterating, iterating through the items in my list, I can still do the tuple. And I can do my tuple i. And we can run that. And you can see that we're still getting the corresponding tuple values even though I haven't used it in the enumerate function because enumerate returns the, gives us the index and the item. So thanks for watching, guys. Those are five easy ways to write, to loop, to iterate through lists and objects in Python. 
Hope you have found this useful. The code for this is all on my website, opensourceoptions.com.